Hello everyone and happy weekend. This is a pick a card reading for today, Saturday, November 28th, and then Sunday, November 29th, and Saturday, uh, not Saturday, but November 28th birthdays and Sunday, um, Sunday, November 29th birthdays. I will put timestamps on the in the description box below for the pick a card for Saturday and for the each birthdays and for pick a card Sunday so you can come back tomorrow and review Sunday as well because I'm off on weekends so I put these together. All right, so let's get started. If you did pick um oh, first uh, we're going to do the pick a card for um Saturday today November 28th. And you could pick um, a card, your main energy, and whatever energy. Um, and I do pull up, pull, up, pull up. What is with my tongue today? Well, I've not been doing good. I'm my foot has been. It's a long story. I can't walk. But anyway, <laughs> been, I've been in pain. So uh, you pick a card, and then I do pull it all together. Okay. So if you pick card number one for Saturday, November twenty eighth, you have the strength card. Okay. You really are going to draw upon the strength that you do have for today. What I'm picking up, um, there can be a confrontation, an argument, a sudden change, but it it seems it could be disruptive. All right, try to um, keep your thoughts positive because um, I just feel there's going to be a quick, unexpected sudden change too. This could be with a person or some situation in your life. So you're going to have to keep your cool a little bit today too. I do feel a good deal or an offer may come through this anyway. Okay. This is just something beyond your control maybe, but you have the strength to get through. All right. If you pick card number two for Saturday, November 28th, you have the Knight of Wands. Okay. That's good. There's some kind of movement here. Um, I feel that this can also bring some kind of um, major change. It's coming in. There's going to be some sudden movements or maybe somebody comes, um, surprises you, visits you. There is some kind of change maybe with the home or in some area in your life. And I think it's going to create this new beginning, new emotional path. Um, a lot of energy. It's a lot of movement, but you're going to have to still relax a little. Take some time for yourself because I have this feeling that you could be just like um, kind of very overexcited too, but do slow it down a little. Um, lessons learned. Some of you may have learned that you have to slow down a little. I sure have. <laughs> and I do feel things are moving along. Review some things. Review some things before you go ahead, okay? Review some things. It's like review the past, how you got to where you are, lessons learned so you don't make the same mistakes, okay? Especially if it's with a, a person. If these are people that are flighty or a person that comes in and out of your life to make, review, review, review is what I'm feeling too. Um, this could be someone maybe wanting to offer some kind of uh, apology or some or some kind of offering is possible too, I'm feeling from some of, some of you, Okay. If you pick card number three for November 28th, Saturday, you have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, let's slow it down today. <laughs> All right, what I feel here is for a lot of you, you are, it's over, it's done. You've, you're maybe carrying over some anger or some resentment or some kind of pain. Someone did, um, did something to you. Um, they betrayed you, hurt you somehow, or this is just a reminiscing it in a way. You're carrying it on. Um Slow it down. This can indicate uh, accident prone today. Watch your health and well being. Okay, so so uh, you know it's like you could be just overthinking things because I feel you could be a little bit stuck in your head and all. You know you're uh, thinking more of this stuff. Um, I do feel there are new beginnings. Definitely, this is a ten. So we we are coming to new beginnings here. You may be dealing with a Scorpio energy or someone who exhibits those energies, but slow it down. Okay, this can indicate accidents around the home or moving too fast or something like that. And believe me, I've learned my lesson that happened to me. Okay, I'm not going to get into it, but it happened to me. So slow it down a little too, but new beginnings are definitely coming through here. All right, when we pull it all together, strength, knight of wands, ten of swords. E. This card's moving along, but maybe too fast, right? So if we're looking at this, I feel today 
take the high road, whatever may be happening. You're, uh, there could be some travel, moving away, maybe a quick getaway. Maybe there's a lot of like back and forth um, energies, like moving forward, moving backward. Uh, not backwards. Oh, I said backwards. Don't move uh, backwards. Maybe doing a lot of errands or something like that. Okay. I do see that. But you have some kind of assistance is what I'm feeling. This is maybe movement soon, moving or travel or uh, preparing to plans. I do see it. Um, there is a sense of things will um, unexpectedly go your way. Kind of expect the unexpected, so to speak, but I think it's going to end up good because I feel new doors are opening here. There's going to be some maybe secrets or information revealed and you're going to be like, oh, okay. Some of you may be preparing for something official. This is like a commitment or something legalities or something preparing maybe for the week. You know, it's weekend maybe to sign some kind of contracts, agreements with a group of people, something like that. But we can manifest good or bad today too, okay? So that was the reading for today, Saturday, November 28th. Um, I will put a timestamp, like I said, um, so you could review Sunday because we're going to get to that. I'm going to do November 28th birthday now, okay? But I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Okay, so uh, today, November 28th, ba babies, happy birthday if you're born today or if you know someone born today. This is a quick birthday reading for you. I do offer this on my website under Solar Your Birthdays, uh, theme of the year and your wish card. So let's see what your theme of the year is. You have the Knight of Swords. Wow. Okay, so th to me, this is a year that there's going. it could be quick moving. Um, significant information coming in, news, legalities. Um, when things happen, they may be very fast. Maybe news you've been waiting for. Communications is coming through very swiftly here as well. For a lot of you, I feel this is um, a good job coming in. Maybe you get a job. Uh, good for business. Um, I do feel there could be some communication with an earth sign. I don't know why I'm picking up earth sign. Um, so it's a it's it's significantly showing up here. Um, when it comes to your work, career, schooling, whatever, there's going to be sudden change. There may be sudden news that either the company um, is going to move location. Um, the company may be closing up. Um, there is going to be something that is, it's just has not been stable or there is is going to be a sudden change for a lot of you is what I'm picking up. Remember, it's a general reading. Watch your anger. And what you say at work, because it can, uh, they could be a lot of confrontations. Okay, so I do see that energy too. A uh, lot of breakthroughs if you have a business or something as well. Okay, uh, when it comes to your finances, I feel that a lot of you may be uh, doing um, investing long term in something as well. Maybe there could be some news for some of you. Inheritance will from um, from a distance. I don't know why I'm picking that up. You may um, invest in traveling. Um, there is a cycle, I feel, that's going to be closing up here successfully here, too. Maybe you've been saving for something for a long time and you finally saved up the money. I do see that energy coming through. So there is that uh, with finances. When it comes to love and relationships, if you are single, um, you know, you may have a lot of um, invitations or proposals or something. It comes kind of quick, but... Take your time is what I'm feeling because then you're going to feel trapped because you may not think things over. Don't rush anything, okay? If you've been feeling trapped and not being able to find someone, I think that you will be um, quickly able to break free of that and um, like setting your energy free somehow and um, starting to move forward and communicating with the many different people. If you are in a relationship, there will be something significant that is going to move along quickly. For some of you, you're going to be breaking free of restrictions. It's like readjustments in relationships. For all relationships, it's time to set yourself free. Communications may be coming in very strongly um, back and forth too. So I do see that fast moving energy with relationships too as well. Now your wish for your solar year you have is the page of wands. Okay. What I feel here is you can manifest this wish very quickly for some of you. Pay attention to the signs that it's going to guide you. Okay. 
you for others you just have to keep um making the affirmations because i see a yes here to um to manifest this very uh very quickly or you get some kind of an idea or news that's going to help you manifest it there is luck on your side this solar year either way okay i do see that the significant numbers for your um solar year birthday i feel is 6 8 one. Yep. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year. And we're going to now move on to Sunday. Pick a card. Okay, so for Sunday, November 29th, pick a card reading. Like you know, pick one for your main energy and... I pull it all together anyway. If you pick card number one for Sunday, November 29th, you have the king, not the king, okay, I said king, but you have the Knight of Cups. All right, so the Knight of Cups showed up. Nice, nice, right? Um, what I'm feeling here is there's some kind of luck on your side today, even abundant energy. Some of you may be um, dreaming of something or um, hoping there's a sense of daydreaming here that I'm thinking you're very driven, okay? Um, some of you are dealing with your self-esteem issues. If you had some problems with um, finances or maybe something that you didn't have um, money to pay your bills or something, for some of you, I feel someone's going to be helping you out. There is a blessing here coming through. This is offer of love and assistance. I really do like this energy, okay? If you pick card number two for November 29th, Sunday, you have the Four of Cups. Okay, so the Four of Cups, what I'm seeing here is I'm feeling you're kind of bored of a situation. That's what I'm picking up here, okay? Um, you're kind of sitting um, trying to make your, you know, um, or you're trying to come up with some kind of options or you're just not happy that some things are maybe not moving as fast as you thought. Um, some of you may have a person in mind. This could be... Um, you know, it's like I feel some of you learned something, you mastered something, but then you're just not knowing where to apply an idea is what I'm feeling. Now, to me, this is maybe a realization that someone's taken advantage of you, they've been using you, and now you kind of grasp that um, that feeling and it's like, okay, lesson learned, done. And you're going to be thinking a lot more positive now. Um, to you're going to see it as a blessing in disguise is what I'm feeling for some of you you're just like feeling a little bit empty um, there's something it's like things are going well but then there is something that's kind of missing here okay um, so that's one thing I'm seeing and you will be counting your blessings too it's like you're going to be kind of grateful of all the things that have been going on even though it seems a little bit time uh, it's been time or you know it's just a a lot of um, things that have been going on, you're kind of contemplating them, but you're feeling blessed anyway, despite all of that, okay? If you pick card number three for today, November 29th, Sunday, you have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, to me, is indicating um, thoughts of travel, travel, leaving some kind of, um, or some troubles behind. Um, I feel you still have some obstacles to get through. Um, but you'll get there. It's been a process, but I feel you have stood your ground. And now it's like a sense of relief is coming through too. I would be careful of anybody coming back from the past. Okay. Um, this is like someone maybe wants to come back or a situation. Um, I feel don't let, you know, say no to anyone. Just say, Someone says, oh, I'm coming over, um, I'm going to stay, I want to visit, or something like that is what I'm picking up. Just say no. Don't do anything you don't want to do, okay? Because um, there's a feeling of someone maybe a little bit pushy here, or you're just not ready to handle someone else's drama and crisis. So it's better to leave it and walk away from it. For some of you, I see something significant in the next two weeks, I feel, Okay? So I would be worried, uh, not worried, I'd be uh, weary of that energy in the next two weeks of, um, of maybe someone trying to come back. Now for others, it's like you may be wanting to travel or there could be a delay 
and something about two weeks is showing up here is what I'm uh, I'm picking up, okay? When we pull it all together, we have the Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Six of Swords. I feel communications are very important today. There's a sense of bonding. You want things more on a personal level. Um, someone maybe wants to talk to you. Um, you've been through a rough patch. Um, it's like it's something is over and done with, okay? It's like you're letting down your burdens. There's a, like a new emotional path here, renewal, I want to say. You're on the right path is what I want to say. There's new opportunities coming in. You may be dealing with a Pisces energy I'm picking up too. But definitely we're seeing a new path, new emotional path to a new renewal, something refreshing to leaving some things behind that may, may have been bogging you down as well. Okay, well, this is the reading for today, Sunday, November, uh, for tomorrow, Sunday, November 29th. Timestamps down below to review this because today's Saturday. And I hope everyone had a wonderf um, wonderful weekend. Now we're going to move on to... November 29th, babies. Happy birthday if you were born today, November 29th. Or if you know someone, and if you'd like a reading similar to this, I've got many different birthday readings. People ask me all the time. It's on my website under Solar Year Readings. This is a quick birthday uh, theme reading and a wish card. So let's get started. Okay, your theme of the year is the Six of Swords. Interesting, we just got the Six of Swords today. <laughs> So the Six of Swords showing up for your solar year. What I feel, this is a year that some of you may be moving. It is travel or some troubles, you know, leaving some troubles behind. You have a lot of support this year too. I do feel need to take care of your health and well-being and balance things out. You're going to have to make an important decision this year too. At least one significant decision that's going to be very, very important for you. Because I feel there's going to be sudden changes if you have been going through a hard time. There is a a, a twist of fate. I feel that uh, your luck is going to turn around. Um, a karmic cycle closing up. I definitely see sudden, sudden changes. You may opt to suddenly move. Um, travel. I am seeing that energy. When it comes to work and career and school... I do see that you're going to have to work on your self-esteem issues. You're going to have to work on if you feel, you know, that you're not getting paid enough. You're thinking of maybe getting a new job. Um, there is that energy there, but you're going to have to ask for help, I feel. Maybe you're overworked. There are some adjustments with your work and career, too. For some of you, you may be traveling because of work or a location may change. You may even move job could be possible you're moving home and then you find another job closer to home. So I'm seeing that energy. When it comes to your finances, I feel that you will be more in charge of it. You may be uh, put in charge of financial, uh, some kind of financial situation. I feel some of you may get a bank job or something like that. Um, you, I feel you'll be making money this year too, especially if you have a business. Um, you should be uh, financially sound. I do feel that energy is coming up as well. If you do have, um, for, for love and relationships, if you are single, um, for some of you, I feel that you may have long distance relationship, but this is someone who's very, very understanding, but also someone in your life may need to advise you. They may see something you're not seeing. Okay, so that's one thing I'm seeing there. So be careful of that. Um, I do see that a lot of you will be connecting to soulmate type of energies, okay? I feel a significant water sign may come through too. That's what I just picked up. If you are in a relationship, um, I feel that there could be some therapy, um, partner or marriage counseling or something like that may be helpful. For some of you, think twice before moving ahead. It's going to be a make it or break it. Either you decide to continue the relationship or you don't. So it's different for everyone. It's it's a um, very general reading. Um, wisdom, advice, and also, you know, kicking off any kind of power struggles would be good um, this year too. When it comes to all relationships, I feel understanding, compassion is going to be very important, okay? And wisdom Communication, very, very important. 
Okay, there may be a significant man that will help mend like a situation. Could be the person who is the glue between you and like um, others that you had maybe disagreements with. So I see like a lot of communications can mend a lot of things too. Okay, a lot of you have to know that your emotions can make uh, it is makes you or breaks you this year. So try to keep balance with your emotions. Okay. Um, watch your health and well-being. It's not a year to rush into anything. This is a year to get the rest that you need. Think things over. You may be separating from things that are not healthy for you. There may be something that you discover that you've been eating, drinking, or whatever it is that's been toxic because your health and well-being is showing up here. Okay? Slow some things down this year. All right? All right. Now, for your wish... You have the seven of wands. To me, the seven of wands is there's a few obstacles definitely that I'm seeing with this wish for some of you. Um, for some of you, you're going to let go of it. There is, it's like some circumstances are going to change that you're going to either um, revamp this wish, rethink it, rename it, or wish it in a different way. All right, for some of you, it's a no because it's um, telling me that you may be leaving this wish behind somehow because something will change that will make it, that make you readjust this wish, okay? For others, just uh, keep um, pushing forward. It may take several months or an, um, the next solar year, okay? The important numbers for your solar year is four, two, five, and six. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead. For everyone, have a wonderful weekend. Timestamps are going to be in the description box below, and you can come back and review uh, tomorrow Sunday, but have a happy weekend, and bye for now.